Beloved in Christ, the Word of God clearly teaches us that man was made in the image of God and that woman was made in the image of man. This is a clear teaching from God's holy and divine Word. And beloved, because we know that we are created in the image of God, many people construe that as being a uh, a part of God, as though God cannot rid himself of himself, because there are those who now call themselves gods, and even the Word of God referenced that, but that's in a little sense because we were created in his image and that, that is just a truth and many say that be, that's why we are builders because we have the same desire that God has to create so we desire to create and many of us are very creative but there's another side to God that I believe that many of us do not think of and that is the fact that God also has free will because man was given free will. Even when God put Adam and Eve in the garden, he gave them free will to choose, to determine if they were going to obey the law that he had given them, which was only one law, and that was to not eat of of a particular fruit that was in the midst of the garden. And beloved, they broke that law. And so God, who has free will also, has the free will to uh, remove them from the garden. Amen? Because he has free will also, just as we do. Uh, he could have not given them a choice and just simply put them in a garden and not even put that particular, uh, whatever it was, fruit in the midst of the garden. And just uh, not give them that opportunity for a choice. But beloved, he always gives us a choice. But look what the Word of God says in Romans 9, beginning at the 14 verse. It says, What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? God forbid. He is speaking to the question of the, on the 13th verse where it says, As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Beloved, we have to understand, and this is what Paul is exploring of that question. Is God unrighteous because he's hating on Esau? And Esau had done no wrong. Beloved, we have to remember this, that God is omniscient. He knows, you know, even as he told David, that he was aware of him even in his mother's womb. Well, God knew that Esau would sell his birthright for a bowl of porridge. So he could have the ability to hate what Esau done and love Jacob and even declare that Esau would serve Jacob even though Esau was the eldest uh, of, of the young men. <clears throat> now in the 15 verse it says, for he said unto Moses, God said unto Moses, I will have mercy on whom I have mercy. And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then it is not of him that will it, nor of him that run it, but of God that showeth mercy. So beloved, it's not about the fact of all that we can do to make ourselves right with God. It is God making a choice to be right with us, even in the condition that we are. 
And beloved, because of that, we have a desire to serve Him and to please Him because we know that there is nothing that is in us, as Paul declared, that is good except the Holy Spirit of God which now abides in every born-again believer. So, beloved, we have a free will to choose God, to choose to serve Him, and He has a free will to draw whomever he so desire. And as the word of God says, for the election's sake, God sent the Lord Jesus Christ that those who have been elected, foreknown by God, would come into the kingdom of God and become the children of promise. Beloved, may the Lord bless you this day in Jesus' name.